Okay, question number 9. Part A, work out P times Q. So whenever we multiply, we multiply the row into the column. Okay, so it's the first of the row with the first of the column, which is 2 times 1 is 2. And then the second of the row with the second of the column, which is 3 times 0 is 0. So no need to write that. So again, we'll do first of the row with the second of the column now. 2 times 2 is 4. And then 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, and then 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 0 is nothing, and then 1 times 2 is 2, and then 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, now this is 2, this is 1, 4 plus 9 is 13, 2 plus 12 is 14. Okay, part B, we have to find the inverse of the Q, which is very easy. First of all, we will find the determinant. Find the determinant, which is AD minus BC. And if it is written like this, okay. So I will multiply these two, then these two, and subtract the two values, okay. So it will be 1 times 3 is 3. And then 2 times 0 is 0, so no need to write. So this is my determinant. So I will always inverse my determinant and write it over here, okay? So if it was 2, I will write it 1 over 2. If it was 5 over 3, I will write it as 3 over 5, okay? And I will write it over here, just outside. And then I will swap these two, which then it will become 3 will come here and 1 will come here. I have swapped and I will change the sign of these two, okay? I cannot change the sign of 0. 2 was positive, it will become a negative, and this is done. Part C, PR is equals to RP. Find the value of V and find the value of U. Okay. So again, we will multiply the row into the column of PR and then RP. Okay. So let me just write it again 2, 1, 3, 4, and 0, U, 1, V. Okay. So now first I will multiply P into R then I will multiply R into P okay so the row of the first into the column of the second let me just do it so the first one will be 2 times 0 is 0 and then 3 times 1 is 3 and then 2 times U is 2U sorry 2U and then 3 times V is 3v then 1 times 0 is 0 4 times 1 is 4 and then 1 times u is 1u and 4 times v is 4v okay now i will do exactly the same thing but this time i'm going to multiply the r into p okay so it will be this row into this column okay so 0 times 2 is 0 this whole thing is equals to 0 times uh, 2 is 0 and then u times u times 1 is u and then for this one 1 times 2 is 2 and then v times 1 is 1v okay now these are the two values on the left so this u is equal to 3 and this 2 plus v is equals to 4 okay because both of them are on the left hand side because both of these equations are equal so u is equal to 3 and v plus 2 is equal to 4 you can write that v plus 2 is equal to 4 2 on the right hand side will be a negative so it will be 4 minus 2 which is 2 4 minus 2 is 2 now let's see part d find uh, okay the determinant of s is 0 find the value of w so what is the determinant is again these two times minus then these two okay so it's w times 2 minus 3 times 8 so it's w times 2 minus 3 times 8 okay so it will be 2w minus 8 times 3 is 24 is equals to 0 okay this is the formula of determinant which is 0 so 24 on the right hand side it will be 0 plus 24 which is 24 2 will be it's multiplied here on this side it will be a divide so it will be w is equals to 24 divided by 2 which is 
um, 12. Okay, and this question is done.